Hi there, it's Lana from Three Birds Renovations and I'm here with Bonnie. And today we are going to choose the colours for the baby's nursery. What I am actually thinking, because it is a small space, is going two times. Oh. Yeah, so finding a spot within the wall yeah. that I can go one colour yeah. and then another colour up top. So Bon, easier said than done in choosing the colours because Dulux have thousands. <laughs> So how do we narrow that down? Dulux go to Milan every year and they put out their colour forecast. So I like to check it out because I like to see kind of what's hot and what's not. What's, what's not. Alright, well I think our colours that we'll get some um, samples for will go the Shetland Lace, yep. Unbleached Calico and... Ooh, what about this one? Eggshell Pink. Yeah, nice. So I've got my A4 samples on the wall from Dulux. Three pretty different colours. This bedroom I want to be a little bit more neutral. So the good old um, unbleached calico here is probably a little bit peach. We've also got the eggshell pink, which I like. I really think looks beautiful. But the Shetland lace is definitely the winner. So for the two-toned effect in the nursery, we've gone with Dulux Shetland Lace Full Strength for the bulk of the wall, and then for the top section, we've gone with um, the Shetland Lace in Quarter. I wanted it to be the same colour tone, just that, you know, little step lighter. In regards to where I put the line, it was all pretty much based on where the window was and where it sat with the window line. So we've gone with the Dulux Wash and Wear in this kid's bedroom. It's perfect for a child's bedroom. It's really durable. All those grubby little fingerprints can get wiped straight off. Now when I design a space, it's usually based on a piece of furniture or a print or something that kicks off that room. And for the nursery, it was this camel print. I loved it. I loved how quirky it was. I loved the warm tones in it. So that was the first piece and then everything kind of flows from there. So we've used lots of rattan, warm colours, wood, some kind of, you know, those dirty like pinks and then a really rustic rug. So if you want to learn more about colour, head to the Dulux website for their latest colour forecast.